Transformers toys for animation and design. Level 27 Media and Smorgasbord Production presents the 2012 Annie Awards. Hey, I'm David. And I'm Steve Sears. And we're at the Annie's. Come on, let's go. Hi, I'm Jeff Rector, President and Festival Director for the Burbank International Film Festival. <laughs> Now, I know the Burbank International Film Festival is a big supporter of the animation community. Uh, do you guys have any plans for this upcoming festival? Well, we're actually launching a brand new animation uh, contest this year. Uh, it's going to be intercollegiate, all the colleges and universities around the country. They have between 30 seconds and 3 minutes to create an original work in 3 months. Oh, wow. And uh, you guys are near and dear to our hearts. Uh, I think you took away about a thousand awards. Yeah, too, six, last six year, awards. I think. Yeah. No, not, not too shabby. <laughs> Six is solid. Uh, I brought on Ed Gertner, who's an animator over at Disney, working on a new show called uh, Sophia the First. He's uh, now the director of animation for the festival. So we're, we're very excited, and there's going to be some big, big announcements coming soon. Hi, I'm Diedrich Bader. I play Batman on Batman Brave and the Bold. That's a very cool. Now, what, what was the Annie Awards for you personally? Well, I love the Annie Awards. Uh, it's my favorite award show because it's the only one I was nominated for. Um, but also, it's a, just a great community. You know, I love the animation community. I gotta say, I love Party in the CIA. Oh, oh my thank God. You, thank Congratulations you. on that. Thanks. Yeah, I must be on some kind of watch list now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, geez, yeah. They'll probably you know, track you. Yeah. But now, have you you've done other animation projects before? So, what? You know, tell us about your love of animation. Oh my goodness. I, it goes way back to my childhood, of course. But I mean, I've done a lot of work in animation. I had a Saturday morning TV show in the '90s called The Weird Al Show. We had the, event, the Adventures of Fat Man. I've done a lot of music videos that incorporate animation. And I'm just a, I'm just a big fan of the medium. I mean, I like to spend, uh, uh, support events like the uh, Annie Awards just because. I have a lot of friends here. I, you know, I'm a big fan of a lot of the artists here tonight, and uh, uh, it's just a very cool place to be. That's awesome. And you've been a voice actor for a cartoon characters, well, I know, on Transformers Animated, the Rekkar. A few things here <laughs> and there, yeah. yeah. I've got an action figure of, of yeah. me as Rekkar, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, I love doing voiceover work, and like I said, I love animation, so it's uh, hard work to turn down. I really get a kick out of it. Very cool. Now, what, is there a, a project that's coming up soon for you, another animated music video, or anything? Like There's a few things in the pipeline which I can't talk about. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is uh, I'll be at the Grammys next week and got my finger. I'm up for two awards. Ah, congratulations. Uh, doing Craig Ferguson on Thursday night. Uh, just starting to work on the new album and we'll be touring this year. Other than that, I can't really get into, like, there's a lot of irons in the fire, as they say. Yeah. Oh, it's exciting. So, yeah. Very cool. Now, what, what makes, uh, have you been to the Andes before? Or is I've this... before, yeah. yeah. Now, what, what's uh, unique about the Andes versus those other award shows you know, I mentioned? Well, you know? this is the only one I'm aware <laughs> that, that, you know, honors animation. I mean, it's, it's all about animation. Like, the Oscars have, you know, the, the short form, long form animated categories, but this is all about the medium. And, and uh, you know, you, you see a lot more uh, animators and cartoonists and, and voiceover actors and people like that at these awards, and, and these are my people. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, these people should get some credit, too, the people that work, you know, long hours drawing. Absolutely. You know, even though they don't have, uh, you know, they only have stunt hands, they don't get out much, right, right. but... I mean, they do deserve some some credit here and there. I would think. Have you ever you've drawn a bit too? Have you at some point or? Not professionally. <laughs> I mean, when I was 12 years old, I wanted to be a cartoonist, and then my, I had a, I had a guidance counselor talk me out of it. <laughs>